Today, we have Peter Sokop, CEO of Peter Sokop International Consulting, who will chair the forum. Peter has over 15 years of experience on working in both sales and marketing executive roles for some of the largest brands. His passion is to eliminate waste of time, money, and effort, and to build customer experience and boost staff morale. Without further ado, I shall hand over to Peter to lead the rest of the day. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I hope, uh, let's, let's just see who's here from the north side. Good on you. Did, did you come by train or did you brave the bridge? Um, so it's, um, it's pretty obvious if you wanted to be a terrorist where you would strike in Sydney, wouldn't you? Uh, um, mind you, the eastern suburbs people wouldn't know because um, they've been saying for years, bridge? What bridge? You know? So I'm going to um, talk to you a little bit about what we're going to talk about today. And I've got to get my clicker first. So the, the, the first thing is, uh, you know, um, in, in, a, in a conference that's full of um, customer experience people, it's good to talk about customer experience. So um, the reason that we're here is that, you know, everybody has um, the opportunity to compete on price, on uh, their features and their services, but really where the, the rubber hits the road is in customer experience, right? Because if you don't keep your customer happy, you've, you've pretty much got, haven't got a business, right? I think we all get that because we're all here, right? So let's see, let's have a look at some stats. Let's see how good you are with, uh, with your customer experience stats. So 80% of um, companies and their CEOs in particular reckon that they provide superior customer experience. How many do you think, how many customers do you think agree with them? Just, just call it out. 40%. 40%. Do I hear more? Do I hear less? 10%. The ugly truth is it's even less than that. All right. So 80% of CEOs and, and the, the, their companies think that they provide superior service and only one-tenth of customers agree. Here's another one. What do you think, or how many, um, to what degree do you think your customers judge your customer service as, as the part of their buying experience? Um, Lisa, come on. 100%. Any less? 95. Should have, should have made this again. So you can see it's a, it's a very high number. It's not 95, it's not 100, but 70%. And the others don't seem to care. You know? Or maybe they're buying commodities and, and it's just a quick purchase. Now, this is an in interesting one. What percentage of your unhappy customers do you think will ever let you know that they're unhappy? Um, do you think, who thinks it's more than 10%? Who thinks it's higher than 10%? Oh, you've all learned from the experience. <laughs> in, in fact, it's only 4%, right? So that means 96% of your unhappy customers will never tell you, they'll just walk away, and you'll never know, okay? Now, imagine what that means to, to customer service, right? So if you don't provide good customer service, then you get that result, and, and none of us want that, presumably. Now, what percentage of um, people have walked away due to poor service experience? Um, is it more than 10%? Hands up, more than 10%. Okay. Is it more than 20%? Ooh, is it more than 30%? More than 50? 80? Close, right? They've just walked away, they said, I can't stand this any longer. And uh, if you deal with any one of the big telcos, you know exactly what they mean, right? <laughs> um, excuses. Uh, um, my apologies to anyone from Optus or Telsa. <laughs> I actually have an experience to tell about uh, both of those, but I won't have time now. Um, okay, so here we are talking about prospects versus um, existing customers, right? What's the probability of selling a new prospect up? So you got 10 new prospects, how many of them will actually sign up? Do we think it's more than 20%? You're an optimist. Um, more than 10%, less than 10%, 50% of you have no opinion. It's a very low number, isn't it? Right. But the chances of signing up 
are getting repeat business from an existing customer is, is much higher. Right? So you've got to look after your existing customers uh, as well as um, attracting the new ones.